know, there was a very famous quote from a very famous international nutri nutritionist recently that I was reading. And so she said that, you know, today is an era where we are talking about lots of food fadism and lot of different nutritional plans, whether it is the Atkins diet or a ketogenic diet and n and, and number of diets, right? But I, the, what she said was the Indian food right. is kind of most balanced. Welcome to PSP TV and today we have with us Dr. Indu Khosla, a renowned pediatrician and a nutritionist Dr. Eileen Candy. Thank you so much for being with us today. We have some quick questions because we're obviously talking about growth and nutrition right here. Um, Dr. Indu, tell me what and how many hours is ideal for a child to sleep because sleep is a very important part of growth. How much sleep does a child need varies from age to age. So like a newborn baby in the first one month of life will sleep about 18 to 20 hours. But by the time the baby is between 3 uh, to 6 months, sure. the sleep has come down to about 12 to 15 hours and at one year it is anywhere between 10 to 12 hours. So sleep. you brought up this very interestingly. So what is the ideal growth mix, like a perfect thali for growth for kids? What would be a perfect, perfect mix? How much of nutrition, how much of uh, sleep and what are the other ingredients that go with it? Just like uh, like how when you eat food, you need your proteins, your carbs, your right. fats, your minerals, your vitamins. Similarly, for growth, you need a mix of many things. So you need sleep. Of course, you need the ideal sleep for your age. Right. You need the correct mix of food which has to be nutritionally balanced. You need a good emotional support. You need physical fitness and exercise. And so I think we need all this for yeah, the proper. Absolutely. And um, tell me, Dr. Eileen, how does all of this, so she's spoken about sleep, how does the nutrition requirement for a child who's extremely active between the ages of 3 to 8, you know, and that's the time a large part of the group is also happening. Kids are outdoors, playing, enjoying. How does, what's the nutrition requirement for that child? Okay, so uh, we go by the guidelines and what, uh, you know, the RDA for kids at that age is. So according to the RDA, the kids require a good amount of energy, that's carbohydrates coming from at least 65% of the entire uh, food that they eat. Uh, when we look at fats and proteins, the even protein requirement is quite high in that time. So they require we right up to even 20% 20, 20 uh, of proteins from the diet. Uh, when we, when we, if they are very active, then we do not restrict fat too much. Uh, we look at the quality of fat, so uh, we give them uh, more of PUFA, uh, sorry, MUFA and omega-3 fatty acids. We look at the EPA, DHA. We look at all those aspects when we are giving fat. At the same time, we do not restrict it to, uh, you know, uh, we, we do not give them more than 35%. Right. So less than 30% of yeah, fat is All of this is, is too much for a common mom, just like just like Correct. you observe, right? Like I have to give this, I have to give this, I also have to go to work. Absolutely. How do, how do I find that one solution that kind of just says, okay, you know, like sometimes I just wish there was like a magic injection, give us whole gear, right? <laughs> so how does a common mom know? that okay this is my balanced diet so when we look at oral nutrition supplements uh, that uh, you know provide all kind of nutrients you, you can a mother can opt for certain uh, supplements if she feels that a child is not eating well and he's not consuming adequate uh, fruits vegetables uh, you know carbohydrates and uh, insufficient amount that's when uh, the mother can introduce uh, in between as snacks they're both complementing Right. It's not yes. supplement. It's not either or. No. It, you see, it has. It is basically if you need a particular RDA, and if you do not reach that RDA, you have to provide it from somewhere, right? And you have to provide it from the uh, one is from the foods that you eat, and second is from any nutritional supplements that will give you these kind of nutrients, right. and especially the essential nutrients. What I would say is our. Uh, you know, there was a very famous quote from a very famous international nutri nutritionist recently that I was reading. And so she said that you know, today is an era where we are talking about lots of food fadism and lot of different nutritional plans, whether it is the Atkins diet or a ketogenic diet and n number of diets, right? But I, what she said was the Indian food right. is kind of most balanced. Right. So where so you should look at the you have to instruct a mother. Yeah. So you have to tell her that you please give your home food. Okay. Now, if I if you hail from the north of the country where corn is grown, 
and their wheat is grown you are genetically more likely to digest that Absolutely. food the best so eat fresh food but i think don't eat processed the, the, food the challenge is not to you know is is never to have it's not an either or situation yes it's not that the you know the three main meals the breakfast lunch dinner will always be ghar ka khana so that's the so in stay. between times yeah. and you know that that sometimes running out to the school bus in the morning where you know you feel like you don't have enough time i think that is uh, that is very critical so i think in those two times what would you recommend that people just pack in something like that so there are some foods where you can actually even pack in at this time say for instance eating a, a cube of cheese yeah okay so that children even take it as a, uh, as a snack which they like you know instead of giving in packaged foods things like cheese things like a yogurt based yeah. meal is is pretty good and in those kids who are very picky uh, you know a, a supplement like a like pedia shot if you add it in, into their milk and milk milk consumption is extremely important it gives them their regular calcium intake right up to adolescence so milk should be given you can add a pedia shot into yeah. it if the child is a little fussy and not eating so that could be a really quick easy snack for parents thank you so much guys yeah. absolute pleasure speaking to you Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to. For more recipes, conversation, DIYs for kids, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from kidstoppress.com.